Right, welcome back everybody, back in the polytunnel. Today we're going to be stripping down this uh, steel TS400 disc cutter. But before we get started on that, I've had a oak solid tea coaster sent to me with my Project Man logo stamped on it, if you can see that. It's actually done with a laser that, it's burnt onto the wood. And there was one actually sent to my dad as well, through Butler's Empire channel. I'll pass that on to him as well, so, so if you want to know where this has come from, check out the channel, it's called uh, Collarbones Carpentry, and his name's uh, Simon. Simon makes these on his, he's made one of these on his channel, I think it's the Jack Daniels one he's done on his channel, and he does a lot of uh, woodwork stuff, so he's another one man band in his shed, just playing about with what he's got. He does a lot of woodwork, and he's got some really good machinery in there, so if you're into all your making stuff and all that, head over to Sai's channel, it's Collarbones Carpentry, and there will be a link in the description below for his channel. Yeah, it's fantastic, well, he just makes stuff out of nothing, with just what he's got lying around, so. Anyway, that's enough waffle, let's get stripped down on this. Right then, you might hear a bit of uh, raindrops on the polytunnel outside, but first thing we're gonna do, is we're just gonna take this um, spark plug cap off, before we start messing about with it. So we'll just pop that off. And the next thing I think we'll take off is the blade. So what we've got there, that's a 19 mil. So we'll get that. And I'm just gonna put a screwdriver just in there to hold that. While we... And it's already undone, look at that, it won't even tight that. So we'll whiz that off, uh, we'll just pull this off, there we go. I don't really want to be working on this machine when it's got a blade on it. Wind's picking up out there, I don't know if you can hear that on the camera. Now, so I've never worked on one of these before, so it's all new to me with all the stripping down process. So what we're going to do now, undo these three bolts, so same again, 19 mil. Right, so we're just going to take this water feed pipe off now. So I'm just going to push this back to get this belt off and that will release that. Let's just put that to one side for the minute. So we're just going to take some of these casing bolts out now. Right then, so that's uh, opened up the pull cord casing. So that's another bit of the puzzle. And it all looks all right in there actually. I say this belt don't look too bad. It's got good teeth on it, there's no cracks in it. So it can't be too old that belt. Which is good to know. All right, so let's get this uh, air filter box off the back here. The sponge ain't too bad, there's a bit of dust in there, but as I say, this is all getting changed anyway. We've got um, new f filters, there's a fair bit of crap in here, it's all wet, thick dust. So we're just going to undo a few more screws. See what's actually holding that on there. I think it's actually to do with this 
linkage is. Right, so I don't know if you can actually see there, by the looks of it, I've got to get hold of this metal tab here, and it's actually just clipped in to this black case in here. So it looks like I've just got to pull that out, and that should separate it. So let me just give that a go. Yeah, so what I actually did was I just got a screwdriver just behind that clip there and pulled it forward and it's come out and it was actually clipped into there I don't know if you can work that out in the camera but it was clipped in there and that's your actual throttle bit it's all new to me this so we will get there it's easier for the next time if you look in here now you can actually see how much crap is in there so yeah it's full of uh, rick dust in there and it's all wet and thick so I'll probably go and take this into the log cabin and quickly give it a blow down with the airline and I'll come back to you. Right, so we're back now. It's come up uh, a lot better than it was. Just gets rid of all the crap. So I'm just going to take this rear filter off. Right, so that was due a change. That probably wasn't breathing proof. Good, that. That's just... Uh, dropping crap everywhere so yeah it's due a service and you've got another pre-filter there which is just starting to let stuff by what we'll do now is we'll take this side casing off here just remembering that there is actually an earth strap going here from the kill switch by the looks of it screws undone and then we'll be having the exhaust off that can get blasted with some uh, heat paint once it's been sandblasted right so we've got the exhaust off now and i've just had a look through the port and the piston actually looks relatively new in there there's no scoring at all on it it's lovely and smooth all the way up and down which uh and once i drop it right down i can actually see the bore as well and it doesn't look like there's any scoring in there at all which is good to see. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to block these holes up so we don't get no crap in there. And uh, we'll carry on with the strip down then. All right, so now we're going to pull this carb off and let's just pop the grommet there for the fuel tank. There's a lot of gunk on this carb. So this will be going to get a carb clean this. So we just remember the fuel line goes under the choke screw so they were putting that grommet back in there really for now so we don't get no crud dropping in the tank and then i'll just uh, block this hole up for the inlet right so i've got a bit of uh, paper here and what i'm going to do now is just give this a slight rub down and i'll put you on a bit of time lapse for this So I'm going to get this cleaned up, get it rubbed down, and once we're ready to start painting, I'll come back to you. Right then, so I'm in the uh, log cabin now, and I've just waxed and grease removed this and uh, prepped it. So I'm going to try and hang it up from somewhere, 
and uh, then we'll put a bit of paint on it and see what it turns out. Like. Remember, this is not a restoration job. It's just something smart on it up to make it look a bit better when we come to sell it. So, so I'm going to put this on a bit of time lapse now because I'm going to have the extraction on. And you won't hear me through the head uh, through the microphone anyway. So. <laughs> Right there, so it is the next day now. Uh, last you bit you would have seen me doing was painting some of these bits. I didn't show you all of it because it gets a bit boring just watching rubbing down and painting. So I've actually painted all the bits now. So let me just bring you in and show you. All right, as you can see, it looks a lot better than it was. You got to remember, this is not a restoration job. This is just a, it was just a service job, and I just thought I'd give it a quick strip down and clean. And I thought while I'm cleaning it, why not paint it as well? So, as you can see, these parts have come up a lot better. I mean, there is still the odd scratch dent in the paintwork, but I did rub it down and all that. But as I say, if I was doing the restoration job, I would have got that right back and I would have put filler in that. But I'd say, it, this is not what it's about. It's just a bit of a makeup job for it. So that's all the bits there. And then you come across here. I've just got all these bits to uh, sort out, basically. I've just got that top cowl in to clean. I don't know if it'll need a paint or not. I won't know until I get in cleaning that. There's all the bits, look. So, as I say, I'm gonna leave it here for this little video now, just to let all the paint go off and set. And in the next video on this saw, Hopefully we should be putting it all back together and giving it the service as we're putting it back together with the new filters and plugs and stuff. And also, I think while I've got it apart, I'm going to quickly give the carb a quick clean and all that because it would be silly not to. So I'm going to leave it here. And until next time, we'll see you about.